Hello and welcome to A Dream of Repair. So today I want to talk to you about how you should envision depersonalization. Okay, I see a lot of people make a big mistake of giving DP this image of a, of a big monster or a big demon hanging over them. Okay, I see this picture pop up the whole time in different Facebook groups and different forums and I know that's exactly how it feels but you got to realize that you're just feeding into the problem. Okay, the reason why you're, you're, you're experiencing de, uh, depersonalization, derealization is it's a symptom from some sort of traumatic event that you had in the past or accumulation of stresses that forced your nervous system to flick the flight, fight, freeze response. Okay, the DPDO is part of that freeze response and the body shuts down, okay, and you, you, you lose, like, your emotions go and you just get yourself stuck in this kind of dream state. If you're giving DPDO an image of a big monster hanging over you, you're keeping that nervous system stuck in that freeze state. So you need to, first off, change how you look at DPDO, okay? Realize it's a, it's a symptom of an underlying cause, okay? You gotta get to the root of whatever that trauma is. And in the meantime, picture it, of some, give it a silly image. I, I first, I, originally I had this image of this demon hanging over me, but then I, I changed it to a pink balloon, okay, just something silly. And this, any time I had a setback, I pictured this pink balloon hanging over me and I just try and smile at it and push through. And I know it's a hard thing to do. It's a horrible, horrible place to be in and my heart goes out to each and every one of you guys, but just give it a go, give it something silly, think of an image and stick to that one image. Okay, don't be changing around and pick something that you don't see very often because you don't want to be reminding yourself walking down the street. So. Think of something that you don't see very often or something you won't see at all. And just something that's that's just lighthearted and something that you can smile at. So once you have that, fill up your day, okay? Fill up your, your schedule from when you get up in the morning till you go to bed at night time. Okay, in the description below, I'm gonna give a link, okay, downloadable link for my daily planner. Um, so if you want some help, click on that link, download it, and then fill up your schedule every day, okay? And um, one thing I didn't do was, and I think it was a huge help for me, was I didn't give up my job. I kept working. Now, I was, I was, I'm living in a different country. My, my family are across the ocean, and I kind of had to work. But when looking back, I think that was one of the best things I did was that I didn't quit my job because that just kept me, kept me busy throughout the day. And then I just started working on different skills and different things I could learn. So it was like working on my cooking skills, and I learned to hand balance, juggling, uh, photography, art, there's many different things just to fill up my day, okay? And anytime I had a setback, it was a silly pink balloon that was hanging over me, not a big scary monster, okay? While working on these two things, then we also want to be done in the lifestyle, okay? The diet, sleep, exercise, stress reduction. I cover them in my other videos, so if you're new to my channel, please watch Depersonalization explain the different parts, I'll cover all of that. All right guys, so hopefully um, that makes sense and you get the same benefit I did because I got a lot of help out of uh, just changing how I looked at DPDO. So give it a go, something silly. And if you like these videos, please do subscribe and yeah, I'll keep these videos coming, okay? Uh, don't forget, comment below if anything, any issues or any setbacks or anything you wanna ask me, shoot them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, cheers guys.